what's going on guys we're back here today it is monday day after the race i'm feeling it today pretty sore but uh could be in worse shape today we're going to be starting the toy hauler conversion in the 7x16 trailer so i went to the store and got some paint but uh just my plans for what i'm trying to do here in the trailer i'm gonna have this back area from this line up across and down that back will be the garage portion um i'm gonna do from the hatch forward so that way i can have ventilated air coming in and out so forward from here up i'm gonna do living quarters i'm gonna plan on either putting in my futon or a blow-up mattress something along the lines of that i'm gonna install some shelving here two probably two shelves might have a spot for a mini fridge down here in the bottom i'm gonna do the tv mount here um i'm gonna do a lighter gray here on the walls and then for the floor i've got some charcoal gray it's a dark color and i ordered some like epoxy flakes so i'm gonna go ahead those are arriving tomorrow so i'll do the floor tomorrow i'll do the walls today um i'm gonna keep these these trim pieces in i've seen people take them out but i i'm gonna prefer to keep them in uh i'm not like gonna do anything crazy like i'm not gonna go through and cover up all these screws i'm just gonna paint right over them but i plan on making this so like i said in the previous video i'm gonna dual purpose it so i'm planning on building a wall here that will fold up onto the roof and i'll be able to mount it up top and then so that way i could still fit a demolition derby car in here or anything if i need the whole trailer i'll be able to fill up the whole trailer but i plan on doing some sort of temporary shelving in the back here so that way my stuff's not just laying on the ground maybe like a set of hooks here or on this side even but it's nothing really set in stone right now it's going to kind of be a go with the flow type of thing but i would like to be able to fit a four-wheeler and a dirt bike back here or even like my pit bike and my yz but uh first thing i gotta do gotta move these hooks back to where these screws are here so that way i have the hooks back in the garage portion uh, my dad installed the hooks because i got the trailer down in georgia so he went ahead and put the hooks in and we didn't want to have the weight distribution off in the trailer but i'll go ahead move these hooks and then i'll start the cut in with the paint just cutting in all these little edges here and then i got a couple rollers and then i'll probably blow the trailer out before i get any paint on the walls so it doesn't stick we just got the hooks moved back uh, you can see the old holes here i'm gonna fill them in so that way when i paint the floor it'll be good so you can see now they're behind the spot where I'm planning on building the wall. So I'll be able to just pull the bike right in here, strap it in, have the wall up, have the front half of the living area. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out now. Um, before I do that, I'll come over here and show you guys the paint we got. I just got some outdoor porch and patio paint so this is the first can it's slate gray that's gonna be for the walls and then for the floor I have this graphic charcoal color so I'll go ahead and blow it out now just finished up painting the walls here on the interior so like I said, I did the lighter gray on the walls. And then tomorrow I have the darker color 
here already. I got red, black, and white flakes, like epoxy flakes that I'm gonna put on the floor. And then uh, this matches the roof pretty good, actually. This, this is not painted up here. This is just the metal. And I'm leaving this wooden strip and the door, this door, this door over here as a, just like a pop out. I forget what it's called, but I'll do the floor tomorrow and then uh, that'll probably wrap up part one. And then in part two, I'll do the foldable door and the shelving in the front. But one can was enough to do it all. I still have a little bit of leftover. I'm going back through and hitting the spots that like I missed. But I might try to save that bit little bit for the foldable wall that I put in. Or I might do that a separate color. What I was trying to say about the door is it's going to be like a little accent door. I'll keep it like the natural wood color. So it has a little pop. But... It turned out pretty good. There's still little tiny things looking back around that I see that I'll go ahead and finish like cutting in, just touching up. But I'm gonna, when I get the dark color in, I'm gonna do the back door also. But it matches the exterior pretty good also. We could do the little walk around. I moved the hooks back like I said earlier. So now we got a nice exterior and a nice interior. So it's the next day. Uh, just got home from work. I'm still waiting on the epoxy flakes for the floor. So since they're arriving by 10 o'clock tonight, we'll see. Last night uh, I finished painting and I installed my light for the front half of the trailer conversion so I'm gonna do a video of me driving my 1990 Accord up into the trailer just to show that it fits so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up real quick and then I'll record me pulling up in here That was me pulling in the Accord. It's a little tight. I mean, not really. There's room over on this side that you can see. And then I hugged it a little close on this side. So that way I'd be able to get out of the window more free. But usually I wouldn't be doing it by myself. There'll be somebody guiding me in. But this is just a little look around. Uh, I'll go to the back. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod. I'll go to the back and show you how it looks from the back side. So I'm at the back side now. You can see there's pretty decent amount of space on both sides. Um, and I could still pull forward more, so I have room up front. But you can see I've got it six inches or so. If I cheated it more towards the middle, I'd have more room, but it fits. We'll see how it goes with demolition derbies. Hopefully it works out. I'm gonna get a winch and put in in the front. So that way, I, if I have a car that can't drive, I can just pull it right up in there. But hopefully I get the flooring stuff soon. 
hopefully today. It's not looking like the flakes for the floor are going to show up today, but the drill bit showed up, so I was able to put in my external plug, um, put a little dent in the trailer, stupid mistake, but now I have the light hooked up here on the inside. But now I'm just waiting for the stuff for the floor. Hopefully it comes today. If it comes today, it'll be late. Um, I got an email saying that it was on the way. But when I check Amazon, it says that it's running late. So I may eventually have to reorder it. Usually that happens. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully it gets here today. If not tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll just have to pick the video back up when I get the floor painted but all right it is day three of the trailer conversion uh, my epoxy flakes finally arrived they are red black and white I've gone ahead and did the cut in on the floor I have to go back through right here on the edge with the lighter gray and touch that back up. Um, but I've gone around the hooks and I've done the cut in. So I'm gonna do it section at a time so that way I can get the flakes down while it's wet. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the first section and then I'll pick the video back up and show you guys how it looks. Just got the first little front half done. And I think it looks really good. Um, it's all sticking pretty good. I mean, I might be able to like roll over it with something real quick to get it to stick, but for the most part, it's all sticking pretty well. Um, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with the rest of the trailer. And I'll pick back up after I finish the inside here. I plan on doing this door too. But I'll do the interior here first and then finish up with the door after. Just finish up the rest of the trailer. Here's how the door looks. And then I went light on the... I was running out of the flakes for the door. I didn't do that bottom part because I feel like that part is not even worth putting flakes on because it folds up anyways. But here's the interior. This side's still pretty wet. I'll go up to the front. So, here's the front section. I mean, it's pretty dry already. You can see it's all pretty stuck. I'll go through and sweep it after, or I'll just blow it out and then roll over it with something so that way it sticks a little better. But, like you can see right here, it's still pretty wet because I started going heavier with the paint because I realized I had more than enough but uh so I have more of that dark gray that I used on the floor so when I put the wall in I'll do the dark gray wall and then I have these LED lights in the bed of my truck you can see along the back here but I plan on putting those back here in the back like along either like the middle trim or the upper trim so that way it's still visible when I have the folded wall up I'm gonna run that I'll have a battery box mounted somewhere either in the front there that I can run the wire up through the trailer up the on the roof or I'll have just like a general hookup somewhere that I could just set a battery in the back when I need those lights but that's going to wrap up part one of the 7x16 toy hauler trailer conversion. Um, to follow the process, subscribe. I'm going to be doing the wall probably this weekend. So, or maybe not this weekend. Maybe in on Monday. Something like that. Sometime soon. So like, comment, subscribe. And make sure to come back to see stage two 
of the conversion.